Turning to South Sudan now, the government says former Vice President Riek Machar will not be a part of the peace deal revival talks. This despite calls from regional body EGAD for all key opposition groups to participate without preconditions. President Salva Kiir's spokesman, Atenewek Ateni, said the peace deal revival will mainly focus on the implementation of the peace agreement rather than renegotiations to end the more than three years of violent conflict. IGAD leaders have urged for the restoration of the permanent ceasefire and a revised realistic timeline and implementation schedule towards democratic elections at the end of the transitional period. Regional heads of state have called for urgent intervention in South Sudan. They are worried that a peace deal signed in 2015 has yet to be implemented as violence continues across the country. IGAD leaders want representatives from the government and opposition to meet in person to discuss a permanent ceasefire. South Sudan's government says it welcomes the decision. The summit was a success and we are very excited and happy and we appreciate the region uh, for calling this summit. It shows that they are concerned about the, the people of South Sudan and the country. The Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission, the African Union body set up to monitor the implementation of the peace agreement, is concerned that the security situation has continued to deteriorate. It's calling on regional leaders to intervene. IGAD should act collectively and decisively, speak with one voice, and demand that the leaders of South Sudan end the violence and pursue a political solution and return to full implementation of the peace agreement. The commission has pointed out that the on-the-ground measures outlined in the peace deal are lagging. The peace accord states that elections will be held towards the end of the period of transitional government. However, IGAD says the revitalization forum will develop a revised and more realistic timetable for a democratic vote to take place. Patrick Koyek, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.